In this video, I'm going to be showing you the step-by-step -step guide on how to set your take profit and stop loss on Wix. I'll be showing you how to go ahead and carry out a trade. From there, I'll go on and show you how to set your take profit and stop loss and the different ways you can go ahead to do that. Also, I'll be showing you how you can set a fixed take profit or multiple take profits for your trade. So if I come a person that you prefer to use one take profit, you will learn that in this video. And if I come a person that you're looking forward to set multiple take profits for your trades on Wix, you also learn that in this video. So let's go straight to the point and not waste time. But before that, please like this video and please, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you. Now, as you can see on the screen right now, I'm on the home page of the Wix app. This is the home page right here. So to go to the futures trading page, you come to the bottom and you see where you have futures, you click on it. Now, obviously, you must have money in your futures trading wallet before you can carry out any trade. So I'll just go straight to the point and carry out a trade because the main thing I want to do is to show you how to set your take profit and stop loss. So in case you don't know how to carry out a trade on the futures trading page on Wix, please I have a video on that already which is on my YouTube channel. I'll put the link to that video in the description below. So just click on the description of this video, check it, you see the link to the video on how to do futures trading on the Wix app. And even if it's spot trading you want, I also have a video on how to do spot trading on the Wix app. All of these videos will be in the description below just check them out so like i said i'll go right now and carry out a trade on this page so if you want to carry out a trade obviously you must have the trading pair at the top right here so you can see this is btc usdt so let's say for example it is another coin you want to trade just click on it right there and then you can now come here and select the coin you want to trade so just come to where you have futures and right here you can go ahead and select whichever coin you want to trade on the app so i'll just leave it as btc usdt let's go back so the next thing you want to do is to select your margin so for margin you have between isolated margin and cross margin so if you don't know the difference between isolated margin and cross margin please i explained it in the video on how to do futures trading i don't want to explain it here so i want to make this video too long i wanted to get exactly what the title of this video is saying so i don't want to make it too long and too boring for you so again, if you want a full detailed guide on how to do this futures trading, how to select all of these options for your trade on Wix, please check out that futures trading tutorial. The link will be in the description below. So for this video, I'll just leave it as isolated. And then you can see where you have your leverage. So the green one is the leverage you use when you are long in, and the one in red is the one you use when you are shorting. So if you want to open a trade, you click on open. If you want to close the trade, you click on close. So for this one, we are opening the trade. And then you can see we have market as the other type. So that means that I want to enter the trade immediately. Don't forget. So the only thing I just need to do is to come here and enter the amount I want to use for that trade. So I'll just come to where you have amount and then I'll put the amount right here. Now the amount you are putting here is the amount or the capital you are using from your wallet multiplied by your leverage. So let's for example, I want to use uh, maybe a cost or a capital or let's say $100 for this trade. I'll just multiply that $100 by my leverage. So you can see I have 10x leverage here. So 100 times 10 is 1000. So I just come right here and I'll enter 1000. So you can see I've entered 1000 USDT. So to confirm that you are actually spending $100 for this trade, just come to this bottom. You see where it says cost. So you can see cost here. If you look beside it, it says 100.8 USDT. So that means that you are actually spending $100 for this trade. And then you can see it will give you a liquidation price. So if you enter this trade, it's your liquidation price, $92,000. So all of these details are just the simple things you need to understand before going ahead to take a trade. Again, I explained all this in full details in my future trading tutorial now the next thing before you go ahead and click on open long or open short is to set your take profit and stop loss so you can see right here you can set your take profit and stop loss before you go ahead and open the trade that's the first option the second option is to go ahead and open the trade then now set your take profit and stop loss later so whichever one you prefer you can do so let me show you how you can set it before you open the trade so you come here to where you have tp slash sl click on it now also click on it to show you where you can enter the tp price and the stop loss price now to set this, obviously you must have done your technical analysis to know where you set your take profit or your stop loss. So in case you don't know how to do that from your technical analysis alone, please, I have a tutorial video on that. Go and check it so that you can know how to set your take profit and stop loss from your technical analysis. But well, if you know how to do that already, then just come here and enter your take profit here and your stop loss price right here. Or maybe you are in a signal group and they are giving you signals and they give you maybe take profit and they give you stop loss. They can come right here and set it. So you can see um, I'm entering this trade at uh, $102,000. This is the current price. So let's say for example, I want to set my take profit at uh, let's say $105,000 just for example. 
So once you enter it at the top right there, you can see it will show you uh, the percentage you make as profit. So you can see for long, if I'm long in, I'll be making 28% profit right there. And if I'm shorting, then that means that that is a loss. Obviously, I'm long in because if you are long in, it means that you're predicting that the price will go up. So I'm long in for now. So that means that if I'm long in, I'll be making about 28% profit from this trade. That is if it goes to my take profit price, this one and 5,000. And then next one is to come here to stop loss. So for stop loss, let's say I want to put it at... Um, let's say hundred thousand dollars i'll just put it so for stop loss i'll be losing about 20 percent so you can see it at the top long pnl i'll be losing 20 percent right there so once you're okay with the take profit and stop loss that you have set just come here and click on open long that's if you are long in so i'll click on it and then right here to show you the summary of all the things you've entered so make sure you always go through this so that you can be sure that you enter the right things so once you've checked everything just click on confirm and just like that, you've entered the trade. So you can see if I scroll up, this is the trade I've just entered. And I've set my take profit and stop loss. So your take profit and stop loss, you see them on that where you have orders. So you can see orders, you have two in bracket. That means you have two orders you set, which are in bracket, which is your uh, take profit and your stop loss. So if I click on it there, it will show me if you come on that trigger. So this trigger, you can see BTC, USDT and BTC, USDT. So this one is take profit and the second one is stop loss. You can see it, right? So that's the first way you can set your take profit and stop loss. But let's say, for example, you want to enter the trade first. Maybe you don't want to miss out on the movement. You want to quickly enter the trade and unlock in your entry point before you go ahead and set your take profit and stop loss. Then here's how to do that. So I'll cancel these two. So to cancel it is simple. Just click on cancel all right here. And then you click on confirm. And then you come here to your position. So your position is your trade. So this is the trade you are currently taking. So after you've entered the trade, it will show you this. So you want to go ahead and set your take profit or stop loss. Come here to where you have TP slash SL right here. Just click on it. Now, once you click on it, there are two ways to set it. So you can set maybe partial profit or multiple take profit. And you can also set just one take profit. So if you want to set just one take profit, you click on all closed. If you want to set partial take profit, just click on partially closed right here. So if I'm setting one, I'll just click on all closed. And then I'll just come right here and enter my trigger price. That is the price I want to take my profits. And I'll come here and enter the price that I want to take my loss. If you don't want to enter the price, you can just come here and enter it in percentage. That is the percentage of profit and loss you are targeting. So let's say, for example, I want to enter it in ROI. I'll just come right here. So let's say my take profit target is, let's say, 30%. I'll just put 30 right there. So that means for 30%, that means that uh, this is the take profit price, $105,188. So if your stop loss, let's say my stop loss is 15% loss, that means that my stop... Uh, that means that the stop loss price is $100,593. I hope you understand. So that means that it must get to this price for you to lose 15% of your capital. So once you've seen that, just come to the bottom and click on confirm. So just like that, again, you set your take profit. So you come again to orders. So you see that you have your stop loss here and you have your take profit right here. You set it just like that. So once it gets to your take profit, you take all your profit. And if that goes down to your stop loss, you take your loss right there but the third one which is how to set multiple take profit or partial take profit here's how to do that so let me cancel this again just click on cancel confirm come again to the trade and then click on tp slash sl and then you come here to where you have partially closed so I'll click on it now when you come here to this partially closed you come here to where you have tp trigger price and the percentage so let's for example, my first take profit, I'm targeting, um, let's say 10%, I'll just put 10% profit. That's the profit I want to make for take profit one. So you put it there. So this is the take profit price, yeah. Now the next thing you want to do is to enter the amount of your capital you want to sell. So you can remember that we entered the trade with $100 of my own money. Don't forget, $100 of my own money. And then uh, we multiplied it by the leverage, which was 1,000. So it was 1,000 we put in that value when we entered the trade. Don't forget, please. It was 1,000 we entered. Let me go back so I can show some of you. When we were entering the trade, you know, it was 1,000 we entered at this amount. And now I got that 1,000 was the $100 for my capital multiplied by this 10x leverage. That's 1,000. So please take note of that because you will need that value. So let me go back to how to set the take profit. I'll just click here and click on partially closed. So like I said, I want to take my first take profit at 10%. And then that 1,000 that you calculated, divide it into the number of take profits you want to take. 
So let's for example, uh, okay, let's assume I want to take three take profit levels. I want to set three take profit levels. Then I'll divide that 1,000 into three. That's my own recommendation. You can divide it anyhow you want. But from my own experience, if you want to take advantage of multiple take profit to make more profit and to limit or reduce your losses, always divide your capital into three equal parts. That's my own experience and my own advice. So if you want to do that, 1,000 divided by 3, that is about $333. So $333 is 1,000 divided by 3. So you just come here and put that amount. So that $333, just put it right there. So you can see 333 and then you click on confirm. So that means that you set one take profit. You set the first one, which is here already. So the second one again, you come here, click on TP slash SL, come to partially closed. And then let's say the second one I want to make, um, let's say 20% profit. I'll just put 20% right there. Whichever profit you prefer, just put it. So 20% right there. And I'll come here again, put that same value, which is 333. That same value, just put it. So once I put it there, I'll go back and click on confirm. And then for the third one, I'll just come here again to TP slash SL. Click on partially closed. And let's say the third one I want to make, um, let's say 30% profit right there. So once you've entered your 30% right here, just come here and put the remaining amount. So the first one you enter $333, the second one you enter $333, the third one will be about $334 because everything in total will now be $1,000. So you put $334 right there. So once you put it right there, just click on done again and click on confirm. So you can see right here, we've set our three take profit level. So if you want to set your stop loss for this, you can also set your stop loss. Don't forget, just come to where you have TP slash SL come to all closed and then this stop loss right here. So let's say our stop loss, or let's just come here to this ROI. Let's say for our stop loss, I want to put 15%. So once you see 15%, just click on confirm. And just like that, we have our ticket take profit levels and our stop loss, just one stop loss. So just like that, we've been able to set multiple take profit or partial take profit for yourself, which is very, very good. So again, from this video, you've been able to learn how to set your take profit and stop loss before you enter the trade. Number two, after you enter the trade. And number three, how to set partial take profit levels for yourself. Don't forget, if you want to learn how to do futures trading on weeks, you want to learn everything about futures trading on weeks and how to carry out your trades. I have a video on that. The link will be in the description below. And if you don't have a Wix account, use the first link in the description of this video to create an account on Wix. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.